in it depending on how bad the D train is that day. Either way, we're going over to... Oh, we're going to their mains. Oh my goodness. I literally would not have guessed this. <laughs> yeah, we're not messing this around This was the all. least likely this thing to happen. <laughs> Funnily enough, least likely situation to happen, it was their mains. But either way, Fawn is has a Rob. Fawn knows what Rob wants, and Zamba, you know, plays Rob. So it should be a really good advantage state for um, Fawn, at least matchup-wise. Right, and we can already see the disadvantage, or yeah, the disadvantage coming through on Rob. Fawn already getting Zamba to 98 and looking to set up some more great duck hunt pressure. I do want to note we have taken duck hunt to small battlefield, which is definitely one of their best stages, mm -hmm. I think. Because, I mean, the, the PS2 platform no, layout wow. allows... So wow! Okay. I'll stop talking. I My bad. What was she cooking? <laughs> what were they cooking? What were they cooking? What were they cooking? What were they cooking? I don't know. Beans? Not Beans. Cans? The, the, I, I saw what they were trying to do. They're definitely <laughs> trying to, like... Uh, interrupt Rob's recovery, air recovery with the with the with the bomb with the cam bomb, but yeah, no, that's just Zama can really just uh, maneuver that so so easily. Yeah, a much more aggressive uh, edge guard situation than I feel like we usually see from Fawn. I feel like we typically see Fawn, especially with this particular platform layout, look to set up these obstacle courses. And every time I try and talk about Fawn setting up ledge traps, Zamba kills them. It's time to mute your mic. I <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, what is going on today? Yeah, but here we go. We're going over Fawn's, Fawn's on their last stock right now. Zamba kind of, you know, chilling still with the first stock at, the, at his disposal. And also keeping control of center stage is one of the biggest things that Rob can do in this matchup. Duck Hunt, of course, has frame one clay pigeon and frame one can at their disposal whenever. whenever. And that really, really fantastic up air. Yeah, it was a fantastic frame mm -hmm. trap from Fawn. So now Fawn has Zamba in the corner, but getting, once again, a little bit too aggressive, getting in and giving Zamba an in and potentially a way out of the corner. Just forward airing right through the can. Fawn not, not really able to set up this pressure that I feel like they're typically known for, especially at the ledge. Great no, tech and going to the other yep. side. I don't want to deal with Robert Ledge either. No, that was a really good winner situation from Fawn, just had, knowing that you can't come back on that side safely because Zamba will back air you, will nair you, will side air you, everything. Oh, no, no. So, yeah. So, we're going to um, go to game two. We're going to game two. I really... Yeah, we're Zamba wisely banning uh, FD and Smash, though, even though Hollow Bastion is still there. And I think Hollow Bastion is also a really good duck hunt stage because of the, the amount of like space that the middle platform has that duck hunt is able to use efficiently is actually kind of scary. You have you can set up gunmen on either side that you need, and you have, of course, can and clay pigeon at your disposal when your opponent comes too close. And... I, I really I haven't I didn't see where they went but I hope they went to like oh no we're going back no just going back to small battlefield small battlefield yeah not not the speeding up of the replay <laughs> <laughs> we had to get to the end <laughs> and we still got it <laughs> damn ooh all right some cute little mm -hmm. uh, gyro conversions coming out from Fawn now has Zamba at the ledge had gyro in hand so potentially looking to get things going a lot more I looked away for a second and Fawn was getting arm rotored and died. And I don't even know what percent what Fawn was at. Let me see right here. Fawn was at a low percent. It had to be. Yeah, it was, it was pretty low percent. Ooh, getting mm -hmm. some good Literally clay pigeons. under 50. Not able to close out the stock, though. Unfortunately, Zamba a little bit too low percentage. So Fawn has to look a oh, little bit harder for this kill. The clay pigeon yes. coming out. That comes out frame one, I believe. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Duck Hunt does have two frame one options, the can and the clay pigeon. Uh, Fawn going for these really hard, um... Oh, oh no. no. I like the idea from Fawn really mm -hmm. trying to mix up the recovery, but Zamba with the awareness. Finally getting the Clay Pigeon into up air. That is going to be Zamba's first stock, but Fawn already potentially sitting on their last stock of winner's, uh, winner's bracket. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And I was going to mention, um, whenever Fawn does have an opening of, of literally any sort, frame one, they can pull out that play pigeon and interrupt your combo so easily, and that's something that's so imperative against someone like like Rob, who can really keep you in a, in a long combo for a long, long time, and rack up so much percentage so effortlessly. But that has not been an opportunity that Fawn has been able to find themselves in whatsoever. Is a gyro on ledge, and once again, Zamba doing an incredible job of just 
keeping Fawn on their toes. Missing the dare, unfortunately, and getting hit by the Clay Pigeon. But here we are off, off on the ledge. <gasps> what? That was Be for real. Dirty. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. That was that dirty. Didn't happen. That did not happen. <laughs> that did not happen. Be for real. What is this? Look at this. Look, look at this. Oh, no. no we're, okay, it's okay. We're yeah. going from the beginning. We're going <laughs> to have going a breather order. before that. We're going to see where Fawn died at 60-something. 77 after the hit. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. On the armor. And then here, I believe, was, was the off-stage situation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Lily was caught in the middle of the air dodge of the Psy... Yeah, Psy B. And this is the other one. Yep. Right, right, right after. Let's see this one. This Missed one. the dare. Zamba's geometry class here. Zamba did that paper finally. There's a can. Boom, Look, you can literally bam, see geometry. Bop. Watch this. Watch. This. I'm, <laughs> I'm Are you about to show some angles I'm of refraction? I'm about to show some obtuse angles. So look at this. You're about to see this all happen, right? All right. So <laughs> throws the throws the thingamajig. Right. Throws the can. It goes up at a hypotenuse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then Fawn comes up this way. Yo, those are parallel lines right there. And then went bop, look at that. That's not the way they went. That's, it, that's sure. exactly the way Yo, they went. Illuminati. That's literally <laughs> That's literally an equidistant triangle. Thank you. Thank you, Geometry, for <laughs> <between> one thing. 